today's news. If we win Pennsylvania, we win the whole thing. Alleged FEMA threat. This is life-sustaining support, and it was temporarily suspended. Where they stand on immigration. What is going on at the border scares me to death. Good morning, I'm Steve Kathan. With the CBS World News Roundup, election day is three weeks from today. In a race that polls say is tight, Vice President Harris and former President Trump campaigned yesterday in the state that could decide it all, Pennsylvania. Here's CBS's Caitlin Huey Burns. Former President Donald Trump and Vice President Kamala Harris campaigned in the same state at the same time, with starkly different views of the country and sharp attacks on one another. She is not a smart woman, that's true. Donald Trump is increasingly unstable and unhinged. At a rally in Erie, Harris seized on Trump's latest comments where he suggested using the military to go after, quote, the enemy from within on election day. He considers anyone who doesn't support him an enemy of our country. Trump held a town hall outside Philadelphia, aiming to win back support from suburban women. We're a nation in decline, and we're not going to be in decline for long. Now to North Carolina, where a man was arrested after reports of an armed threat against FEMA workers who are trying to help victims of Hurricane Helene. CBS's Janet Shamley. William Parsons was arrested Saturday after the Rutherford County Sheriff's Office says it received a call about a man with an assault rifle talking about possibly harming FEMA workers. The U.S. Forest Service sent an email to first responders in the area that same day warning National Guard troops had apparently encountered armed militias that were, quote, hunting FEMA. But the Sheriff's Office tells CBS News there have been no substantiated reports of any militias making those threats. Jimmy Rock Village Administrator Stephen Duncan told us that federal and other aid has been welcomed and has expedited the cleanup. What would you have done without all this help? We would have been weeks, months, just trying to get the mud and muck out of here. Despite the progress, the task remains monumental more than two weeks after Helene hit. A new wave of lawsuits has been filed against music mogul Sean Diddy Combs, including one that alleges abuse of a minor. CBS's Jerika Duncan has details. It's a growing legal battle for Sean Diddy Combs, who now faces six new civil suits alleging sexual assault, rape, and sexual abuse. The suits were filed anonymously by four men and two women, CBS News legal analyst Ricky Kleeman. It not only shows that there are other alleged victims out there, but it also gives the prosecution more access to the possibility of having other witnesses who tell horrific stories. The accusations include incidents ranging from 1995 to 2021, taking place at locations like a department store staff room, hotel, and an event-based bathroom. Defense Secretary Austin says 800 veterans who were kicked out of the military for their sexual orientation will get honorable discharges. That was under the old don't ask, don't tell policy. The effects of it have been under review for the past year. The Washington Post reports Israel's prime minister may be signaling to U.S. officials his country will hit Iranian military targets, but not nuclear facilities, as it weighs a response to Tehran's recent missile attack on Israel. Local media reports in Israel say targets have already been identified. Correspondent Nancy Cordes has more this morning on two pandas from China due to arrive in Washington. It's move-in day for Washington's two newest residents, and the neighbors can't wait to meet them. I've been, like, crying the past two days, just tears of joy. We've been waiting for this for a really long time. The new pandas, Bao Li and Qin Bao, are adolescents, three years old. And from what we've seen so far, they are just as furry, floppy, and roly poly as their predecessors. Four minutes after the hour. Well, that's today's news. Today's news. I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, as always, I'd like to thank you again for coming along with me on these dash cam news adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody. It's 54 degrees in Lathrop, California.